let's get in. Good morning, it is currently 9 a.m. Hi again, welcome back by the way. We are in Poland. It's been a journey. We woke up today between 2.30, 3 a.m. Got to the airport around 4 a.m. This is the first time Kaylee and I are traveling outside of the country together. We've only done like staycations together. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Right, so we were on the plane, yeah, and I had two spare seats next to me. <laughs> and we were texting before, but she had a few rows behind and said, Oh, you're gonna come, you can come sit with me. Yeah. And literally, as soon as the seatbelt sign goes off, <laughs> I turn around and I was so asleep. She's gone. And I was like, All right, you know, yeah. get time off as well. There was no way I was staying awake. I tried my absolute hardest. We're trying to find the train into the city. Uh, this one. Is it this one? Oh, How do we get tickets? I said, Wow, me. Because we can only check into our Airbnb from 5 pm. Or something like that. So um, yeah, we'll keep you posted on our progress. Bum bags matching. Um, we just finished that Mr. Pancake. <laughs> We've come out to the snow, which is Good. really, really nice and cold and fun. To be fair, it's not actually that much colder. No, it doesn't feel cold actually. But um, it's Christmasy. It feels it feels quite Christmasy yeah, it does. for March. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed. We literally paid nine pounds each for a full yeah, stack of pancakes yeah. and coffee, which yeah. is wild. Like you just don't. No. Prices like that just don't exist. And it wasn't like two pancakes, it was like a stack of like six. And literally. And then like with all the toppings that we chose. Exactly, so really many. Good. So, so, so good. Good vibe. Post alone on repeat. Post alone on <laughs> such repeat. But yeah, we're going to this like museum of like allu not illusions, like it kind of looks like the infinity room. That's yeah. what it reminds me yeah. of. So that's where we're on our way to now. It's like 12 pm. Um, but yeah, I just sniffed some snow. <gasps> that. That's slow, guys. <laughs> that's <laughs> this uh -huh. most Have random we even, like spoken about before we started no we didn't even oh. say what we were doing before we did it i don't think we knew we didn't know no. we just did this like we bought tickets to go to like eight different attractions the most random collective group of things why are there birds on the back of that those are birds they're clips <laughs> First, we started off like doing a laser quest. No, we didn't. What did we do first? VR headset. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna find a cafe and then we'll update you okay, afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Sit down, Finn. Sit down, sit Eat down.
currently Monday morning. It's 11 a.m. We said we'd be out by half nine. We ran into some issues. We did have breakfast this morning at the Airbnb. Super cute, by the way. Really woke up to nice vibes. But yeah, we woke up, had breakfast, and then we were just doing some podcast stuff. And now we're about to head out. But we didn't catch up about yesterday and everything we did. Wow. <laughs> and what a list of things we did. <laughs> Such a list. Like, I feel like we lived the whole trip's activities in the space of like no, four hours. No, we didn't hours. because we literally did this one umbrella like thing for like eight different activities. But literally. like, come on, no one comes to Poland and does the things we've done. <laughs> I don't think that's normal. Why did we start off in a laser maze and then <gasps> doing like oh, a virtual reality game? It was like the funniest thing Honestly. I've ever done in my life. Honestly, but I feel like the best thing, one yeah. of the best things was the like, um, the mirror maze, no, not the mirror maze, the infinity yeah. room dupe. Yeah, it's I like defo, the like you know the one in the Tate Modern that everyone goes crazy for and is on like a waiting list for like a year for. Oh, yeah, that is sad. <laughs> so they had something like that, but obviously it was like the equivalent of one pound. Yeah, basically we paid nine pounds, like yeah, British, British pounds, mm. best nine pounds worth so mm -hmm. So it was like I feel like it was for children. No, but what do you mean the Infinity Room? Yeah, but like could you have even bought one on their own? Because I'm pretty sure you couldn't. Yeah, yeah, you can't remember because we were only gonna do. The infinity room and the mirrors uh, so we went for all nine yeah we missed out on one we felt a bit sick yeah we did some 3d <laughs> roller coaster <laughs> No, 4D, sorry. We were getting thrown around on the... <gasps> Why were we upside down? No, it you? was literally the funniest thing ever because no one else was in the room either. <laughs> and it was this like seating of four seats, like a wrong seat. The, the 4D-ness didn't work. <laughs> no. Sorry, the 3D-ness didn't work because it was bad. And then the 4D-ness nearly gave us whiplash. Mm -hmm. I also nearly fell out the seat. There was no strap. No strap. And we went from like being this far back to this far forward. <laughs> So that was funny. The butterflies were kind of scary. Yeah, we were, yeah, but like, how does that? Nothing like, makes nothing sense. Nothing linked together. Nothing. Because one minute we were in the a laser, laser maze. It was so funny. So funny. Just these beams, and you were supposed to like avoid the beams <laughs> for five minutes. And about a minute in, and we just thought, no, not gonna do that. Nah. We just started running around. <laughs> and then, and then the next thing you know, we're we're in a ribbon maze. Yeah, ribbon ribbon maze. That one was kind of scary. I couldn't see yeah, you. Yeah, no, that was scary. Kind of it felt quite when claustrophobic. When you would speak, I was like, where's that coming from? No, literally, it did feel quite claustrophobic. It's quite funny, though. I got some cute bits. Yeah, for sure. Mirror Maze is horrible. Yeah. Kind of loved it. I liked it, but didn't at the same time. Butterflies. Butterflies. I don't like butterflies. I think they're glorified moths, but you really enjoyed them. I didn't really have a choice. Anastasia, <laughs> the girl, was just putting them on my hair. Yeah, I, I like, thought that was a bit like, I feel like she you should like, ask before putting his like flowers on his head note. Yeah, like I had them on my arms. I had wow. one and then I was suddenly bombarded. I was like, that's okay. It's okay. I can keep my eyes on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My new pets. And then I just... Yeah, no. And I was like, what the hell? And then we checked into the Airbnb. It's so cute. Love. It's really, really, really nice. And it's literally like 70 pounds a night. Yeah, it's like so 30, like 30 pounds each. each per night, which yeah. is crazy. Yeah, really, yeah. Really, really. So crazy. And um, what do we mean? Pasta. Oh yeah, then we made pasta, we chilled, we watched some YouTube videos, just had a really nice cozy night. But um, the plan for today is to go to the salt mines, which is like a must visit apparently if you're in Poland, if you're in Krakow. Yeah, people have said like, oh, you have to go to the salt mines. So we, we're gonna go. It's like, it's not in the main city center, which is why we're, we're doing it today. Cause tomorrow we have to fly back in the afternoon, in the evening. Mm -hmm. So we don't want to go too far out and then have to come back in. So it's four to five minutes from the Airbnb. We're gonna make a way. I feel like that's not bad. Not bad at all. Like I enjoy just like seeing the city. We're gonna make a move so we can make the most of the day. We don't have to go out with our backpacks, which is so nice. I'm so happy about that. And it was snowing a ton yesterday. It looks quite bright today. Yeah. Six, really six good. Degrees. So it'll melt all the way and everything will be. I think I might not take my my other jumper then. I'll just wear my coat. Yeah. Right?
We have just made it to where we're going to do the salt mine tour. Apparently it lasts literally two to three hours, which we weren't aware of. But um, it's like £22 or something like that each. So definitely like a more expensive thing to do when you're here compared to like everything else. But we'll let you know how it is. We get a guide, which is quite fun. Um, and apparently the temperatures underneath are like 15 degrees, which is crazy. It's crazy hot. Crazy hot in comparison. But um, yeah, we got the bus here. It was like 45 minutes. The bus and the tram. But, um, it didn't feel like that much, It didn't feel long at all. Yeah. It was really nice. Um, but yeah, we'll catch up in a bit. Five meters underground it was so cool but it was i just remember we were walking down the steps and i was like oh we're going quite deep it was really cool though what did you think yeah i wanted to lick the walls but Tuffy was a bit against it like it was why would salt. you want to lick the walls though lick them. like the lift though yeah so you so, a lift back up yeah because obviously it's like 800 plus steps yeah oh yeah that was the so other we thing. were like okay cool and we basically went to this big bit and we saw a lift that looked really nice and we were like oh that'd be the lift yeah. and he's like no 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 <laughs> it was like a glass no. lift that looked really appealing like Charlie the Chocolate Factory yeah. like nice glass elevator right yeah yeah and then he's like no can you just go around like the corner a bit and then we walked for another like 20 minutes literally dead last 20 minutes. literally so long and then um we were like in this literally cargo container it like, literally felt like we were in a shipping container and then we went down before we went up so we thought we were getting kidnapped or like it was broken everyone in the lift was panicking and we then, were all looking at each other like this but is when the i end. say we were looking at each other we were like this <laughs> And then no, around, like, we were standing like, literally like this. Yeah. And then we came out and he only opened one of the doors and they were like this thin. And so we were like, we were sliding, <laughs> squeezing out. It was awful. Anyway, apart from the lift. It was actually really interesting. They have weddings down there, but there was like a huge cathedral type of it with loads of chandeliers. And they have regular like services there, like church services every Sunday. Sorry. I wonder how people do that. Like, do they just climb down the stairs? I don't know. Time? No, I presume they're in that dodgy lift. You know? Maybe they get the nice lift. Yeah, maybe they get the nice Where's lift. Your wedding, your wedding guest getting in that lift we just got in. It's definitely interesting. It's one of the first ever World Heritage sites. Fun fact. Yeah. And they have two Guinness World Records. The world's tallest indoor bungee jump and the world's highest indoor balloon ride. Really so, ridiculous. So fun. But right now it's 3.30, 3.35. We're making our way to, back to the old town, which is another like 45 minutes. We're gonna get some food, walk around a bit more. Definitely recommend the salt mines if you have like a few hours to spare when you're in Krakow. Maybe not if you're claustrophobic. Definitely not if you're claustrophobic. It's not like you're in tight walls apart from that lift. Yeah. But just being down there, you do think how far you are from the surface. It's yeah. Scary. So maybe you but even just the lift, I feel like someone oh, who's claustrophobic no. would panic. No. So yeah. Let's go to the old town. Good morning. It is currently Tuesday morning. This is the day we fly back to London. Seen a nice two nights. It's like 10 10 right now. We're gonna walk towards the old town, which is like 10 minutes away from us. We're gonna drop our bags off at the luggage drop off place so we don't have to walk around with our backpacks. Almost a vintage shop. Yeah, th th there are so many vintage shops, which is so nice. I really need a nice coffee. But yeah, we're gonna head out. And then our flight tonight is at like 5.40, so we're gonna get to the airport for like 3.45. So yeah, shorter day today. Oh, but after dinner, we came home, which, and we also bought honey 
because we were like, we need to put honey on our pizza. And they gave us honey, which was insane. And everyone always raves about that place, like on TikTok, that we went, Mamma Mia's Tartori or something like that. We paid like nine yeah, pounds each. Nothing. Nothing. For a drink as well. For a drink as well, so good. Yeah. Um, and then we came home, watched a movie that was ghastly. Um, I forgot about that. Isn't it? I don't know how, because it's, it's gonna be on my brain for a while. It was um, so bad. Um, and then we slept after like midnight, after watching that movie. But um, yeah, guys, we'll catch up in a bit. Bye. <laughs>she looks really pretty and it really was pretty I had pancakes Kenny had a bagel yeah. how was the bagel good actually really good I just really like this city I can imagine it being really nice in the summer yeah um, really really happy really happy with this how have you found the trip really good what have you been doing in the back there I don't know just walking but I feel like I look so weird no you <laughs> don't but yeah guys we'll catch up in a bit the journey back to the airport is like a 45 minute 50 minute type vibe so we really don't want to run too late. Uh, I'd rather wait in the airport. But um, yeah.